Alrighty guys, so this is part four. This is the conclusion of the Toyota Corolla flip series. I bought this car back in February. It is now September. So we've had it for most of the year. Uh, it's, it was a great car to us. My dad daily drove it to work just because it was so fuel efficient. Um, we put almost 10,000 miles on it. We had no issues with it. Everything that you saw that I did to it was all that I did to it. I only did one oil change on it. I only put those tires on it. Like After the beginning part of it, I, we didn't do anything else to that car for the rest of the year. Um, it was really a great car. So I wanted to kind of go over the breakdown of this car. Um, so to start with, I bought the car for $3,200. Uh, it was a great deal when it came in. I was like, I have to have that. And a lot of my coworkers were like, that car looks terrible. That thing's worthless. I'm like, no, it's a late model Toyota. The money's in it. So I got that car way too cheap. Great deal. Um, and the, the money in flips is really made in the purchase of the car. If you don't buy the car right, it's not even worth taking the gamble on any other maintenance the car might need. So if you get a great deal on a car, you're already ahead of the game. So bought the car for $3,200. Next thing it needed was tires right away just to get it out of the the dealership. It needed tires. It was on a flat and a donut that had to go. So I bought three tires at America's Tire for $191. That was like an amazing deal. I just got some cheap Sentry tires, but they were great on the car. I had no issues with them. Uh, the paint work I did to it, that cost me $0. I had some paint cans laying around. I also got lucky with my... Uh, AutoZone Rewards paying for that other can of paint that I bought so that was really cool so free paint for what I did I also only did a little bit of paint so it didn't need that much um, next was the carpet extractor that cost about $35 to rent for a couple hours I love getting that machine at Home Depot I've, I've rented from there about 10 times it's really a lifesaver um, I also did an oil change for 50 bucks the spark plugs did myself $10 that was super easy because it's a four cylinder uh, the front brakes, I had those had to be installed by the dealership when I bought it to be allowed to take it out. It, had, it failed the safety inspection. Um, so $100 for the front brakes, that was, you know, whatever. It had new brakes, that's nice. And uh, the fuel additive was $8. I just kind of threw that in just to smooth things out a bit. I don't really know if it did anything or not, but, you know, whatever, I did it. So my total expenses were um, $3,494. And we ended up selling the car, like, a, almost a year later for ninety five hundred dollars. I had it listed for ten. I was honestly kind of generous. They, it seems like they would have paid full price, but they asked if I'd come down, and I was like, "Oh, I'll take five hundred bucks off." So, whatever, lost that off five hundred bucks. Could have been ten grand, um, but so that means our profit was just under six thousand dollars. We made five thousand nine hundred six dollars on this car. So. Great flip. This car was really great to my family. Um, yeah, awesome car. So that's uh, that's kind of what I did. That's what I got going on here. So thank you for watching this series, and I hope you look forward to the next one I do.